What's up? How's it going? Today we're going to learn how to draw Baymax from uh, Big Hero 6. We're going to draw the uh, kind of first form he has. So I'm going to be using just a regular number two pencil. And this is going to be just for the underlay, underlay, you know, underlaying of the whole thing. And then we're going to use this Copic marker. The Copic marker has a flat side and a brush side. This one's kind of inkish. It's uh, N8. I want it to kind of like basically be as black as possible, but the N8 is dark enough that... It might, it'll look pretty black. So, start off, I'm gonna draw a line at the top, a line at the bottom to kinda, just kinda like see where he's gonna be standing. And his head's gonna be pretty much a circle. I'm gonna draw kinda dark here so you can see it and then I'll, th I'll throw another paper over it. His head looks like an egg sideways, that's the way I think of it, you know? But the egg usually has a little taper on one end. He doesn't really have that. His body is one giant mass. I think it was another giant egg, really. Proportionally, his head is a little bit smaller than you would think, you know? Just kind of think about it, you know? You're like, oh, you know, the head, you know, you, it, it's comfortably... S when you draw a head, right? When you're drawing human heads, you have this kind of preset uh, proportion in your mind. Go beyond that. His head's smaller than that. <laughs> Got giant arms here. Stick out. I'm actually going to lower this line here because I think it's going to go lower than that. Draw a straight line down between his legs. Everything is round. Very round. The character's really made to seem really likable. Uh, round stuff since be more for kids. I haven't actually, uh, uh, I mean, have you guys seen this movie? What do you guys think about it? The uh, Big Hero 6. It came out this last week. And um, I know it's in the X-Men. These characters are from the X-Men universe, which is interesting. Yet they are in a, you know, Disney-fied movie. So I'm really, really interested. I, uh, yeah, just curious about what you guys think. His eyes. Which is basically a line with a dot. Two dots, that's it. So this would be my... I would actually want to make him bigger down here. Arms. His arms kind of attach a little bit before it reaches the head. So I'm drawing this like fast and messy, that kind of thing. So this is the underlay, okay? This is what I'm going to keep as my underlay. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this paper underneath another sheet of paper. Um, I haven't done this in a while, so I will say this, that this is a regular sheet of paper. It's computer paper. It's printer paper. This is printer paper I'm using, uh, tabloid size. So it's a little bit bigger. Um, but you can see through these papers if you just draw dark enough. You can see that, I'm sure, on camera. I hope. So now I'm going to go with a marker. And I am going to go in here and trace them out. Starting with the stomach first. I'm doing really thin lines. Um, one of the reasons I'm doing that, and I probably will put a thicker line at the very end. One of the reasons I'm doing thin lines is because he's a completely white character, and he's also a CG character, which is a little bit different. Um, because I tend to see CG characters when they're drawn, they look weird, because you're not used to seeing them that way. You know what I mean? They're not in traditional animation, so you're used to seeing them with pretty much no line around them. You know, line is kind of a human invention kind of thing. So that's why I'm kind of drawing it thin here, and I'm kind of thinking, like, how would it look with that thin line, even though I love doing those lines. You know I love doing the thick lines on the outside of characters to kind of contain the character.
Oops, shit. Sorry about that. Is that a bad word? His head there. And then draw those dots. Those huge dots. Kind of reminds me of those Princess Mononoke things. And that could be pretty much it right there, but I am going to throw that extra line I told you guys about. I will throw some uh, shadow below him. And I am going to throw an extra line around the contour. I'm going to throw it with the uh, my other marker. The other side of the marker, I mean. The thick side. And that's pretty much it. You could, what you could do, even now, because although it is ink, you can kind of add some shadow, some very light shadow over here with a pencil. But I mean, since this is a completely white character, you know, I'm, I might just leave it as is, and that would be a line art version. Let me see. Yeah, I'm going to probably leave it as is, to be honest. Eh, I'm going to leave it as is, actually. He's going to be line art only right now. I will throw a single line over here, like one of those simple lines. All right. Anyways, guys, that's about it. If you have any questions, please comment below. I do appreciate it. My channel is growing really fast because of you guys. I really, really appreciate that. It's not even funny. I appreciate it so much, and uh, it's really turning into something that uh, I'm gonna, you know, push more and more and more. And um, anyways, that's about it. Thanks, guys. I don't want to bore you with this. Talk to you later.